Smith, and I said I was going to tell the story of the dent in my leg this week, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I tried to take a picture of it, but it didn't work too well. Excuse my nasty leg, here it is. love, and I mean love, telling this story. I love showing people the dent in my leg and like asking people to feel it. Even when I first meet people sometimes, I'll like, I'll be like, touch it, touch it. Because I just, I don't know, I find it like fascinating and I like, I don't know, bragging about it and I like grossing people out. I was even on a date once and asked someone to feel the dent in my leg. That probably wasn't okay, but I showed up to that date dressed like a genie, so I don't think I could have embarrassed myself anymore. But let me set the scene. I'm 13, the cool teachers and their students, including myself, are outside, sitting on a hill, under the tree, in the shade. It's about June, summertime, almost the end of the school year, and we're watching a baseball game. I don't care about baseball, but we got to be outside and we weren't in school, so I I was happy, you know? I was, like, feeling this bump on my leg, and I was like, oh, a pimple, but I looked down and it's black. Pimples aren't black. The, being the hypochondriac I was at 13, I started freaking out. I was like, oh my gosh, I have a tumor, it's cancer, I'm gonna die. <laughs> and I... I really just wanted there to be nothing to worry about, but there are no doctors around. Who's an expert? My science teacher. He knows science. He knows the human body. He'll know what this is. So I walk up to my science teacher and I'm like, what is this? Is it a tumor? Am I going to die? <laughs> and he's just like, help, I, I don't know. I'm a science teacher. And I'm like, yes, so you should know what this is. He, he didn't know. He had literally no idea. I'm freaking out the rest of the day. I go home and I told my mom he has a theory that it's a popped blood vessel and my brother has a theory that it's a tick. Now, ticks are these things that you can pick up like in the forest and they, you know, suck your blood and you're like, wait, a tick? Like, in, in your leg? Well, basically... Ticks sometimes try to burrow in your skin and then get their head stuck and then their head breaks off in your skin. Ew. I was like, I gotta go to the doctor, mom! And she's like, you know what, it's nothing to worry about. So I'm in the shower shaving my leg and whoopsie daisies, I cut it. I cut it the exact spot where the bump is. And what supported my mom's theory of, the, of it being a blood vessel was it started gushing blood. Again, I'm freaking out thinking I'm gonna die. What do I do? I put a band-aid on it because band-aids fix everything. And eventually, it scabs over. Now... Here's the thing, I think I have this thing called dermatillomania, dermatillomania, uh, aka exoriation disorder. That's basically this thing where you obsessively compulsively pick your skin, or scratch it, or peel it, whatever. If I have a scab, you bet I'm gonna pick it. You know when you watch those videos where they're cutting through stuff, or like crushing stuff, or popping pimples, and it's so satisfying? That's me when I pick my skin. So what I do, I picked the scab. Scabbed over again, I picked it again. Listen to me when I say this. Don't do that, because what happened to me will happen to you. It got mad infected. Blood, pus. It would get swollen and then I'd have to squeeze out the pus. At that point, I had to go to the doctor. He had no idea what it was. But he gave me some cream for the infection and he's like, put this on for five weeks and then we're gonna cut it out and I was like okay he said it that aggressively that he was gonna cut this thing out of my leg 
after four or five weeks after it wasn't infected anymore. So that's what I did. I rubbed the, I got up, I rubbed the cream on it, put a band-aid on, and then midday, it was like summer by this point where it was cool, midday, I would put the cream on again and put a band-aid over it. The reason I put a band-aid over it is so the cream wouldn't rub off. It had been like two weeks and, ooh, I forgot the grossest part again. It, it could spin. I would like spin it while I was bored, like under my skin. It would like spin around, but it was under my skin. And before I showed people the dent in my leg, I'd show them that. I'd be like, hey, want to see something cool? And spin it around in my skin. So nasty. Anyways, uh, so that, that, that's, that's what I did. And one day I'm changing the band-aid and I see two little bumps beside the black bump. And I'm like, oh, what is that? And I press them down and it goes, that's the sound it made when it popped out of my skin and landed on the floor. And I pick it up, it's all like crusty and gooey and like hard. But because this thing was under my skin and then it popped out without my doctor having to cut it out, it left a little dent. And now it's like a little crevice in my skin. It's not like a deep dent or anything, it's, it's fine. So yeah, that's the story of the dent in my leg. Um, now you know. Super, super gross. But, you know, you'll, you'll be fine. This video wasn't that gross because you didn't see it happen. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Elf Smith. You can like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Or not. I'm Natural Mama. And I guess I'll see you guys next time.